landed in Lethem, which is right on the border with Brazil. So we actually briefly crossed over the border before we landed. And luckily we left behind the rainy weather in Georgetown. It's lovely and hot here now. So we're gonna go and find our four by four and head towards the South Savannah. This is the arrival of our luggage here. After landing in Lethem, we drove for a couple of hours to the beautiful Wichabai Ranch. Wichabai has four private cabins near to a lake and a short drive from the Rupununi River. So before we go on our afternoon horse ride, we're actually learning how to lasso and we've got an expert here with us. This is Chado and he is the regional rodeo champion. So we've got the ideal person to teach us, although he makes it look very easy and I'm not sure that we're going to do quite so well. Oh. Too low. Oh, it's not me, he's laughing. It's going so badly. Can you just give me one more expert tip? What's my horse's name? Challenger. Challenger. You're finding it a challenge with these flies, aren't you? <laughs> so Scott, Chado and I are taking a lovely ride now into the hills. And it's a lot cooler now, which is lovely. So we're currently in the corral where the cattle and heifers and calves are all being sorted and they're taken one at a time through the chute here and that's where they're separated into the different pens and this happens daily between September and December and it's also where they do things like branding as well and then they're released back into the savannah. How long does it take to make a bullwhip? So starting on the left one again and put that one to here. Yeah, correct. It needs to be tighter though, right? Yeah, I'll do that one. Okay. This one? Yeah. In the afternoon, we drove deeper into the savannah to visit some petroglyphs. These rock carvings are reported to be around 6,000 years old.
So this morning we have come to a cassava farm to see where it grows and learn how to pick it and collect it. And cassava is a staple on almost any dining table at any time of the day here in Guyana. So it only makes sense that we've come here today to learn about it. <laughs> Ready for lunch. So there are two types of cassava and this is the bitter cassava. I never peel my vegetables at home. I'm lazy. I just throw them in. Our final activity of the day is a couple of hours canoeing down the Rupanini River and I'm here with Justin in the white and Scott in the blue and it's a lot cooler now which is nice. We're set for our ride with some local rum. perfect time to come out on the boat. It's quite a lot cooler now and there's so many birds to see. It's lovely and quiet and I wish I knew some more of the bird sounds. That's a parakeet. That's a parakeet. That's one I do recognise. <laughs> <laughs> and it's now April so it's kind of an in-between season but during the dry season this river is pretty much dried up just rocks. <laughs> I think you need a glass, you know. You need a glass to show the real properly. Yeah. Yeah, true. Look at that lovely pink sky. Yeah, it's it's so nice, isn't it? So it is our last morning here at Wichabai. And we're all very sad to leave, actually. We've had such an incredible time with very lovely people in this beautiful environment as well. And now we've got a few hours drive to our next location where we're going to be spending two nights. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>